Hey guys, Clash and Duke here. We're going to hit up a little war recap from our most recent war. As you can see, this was a nail biter, a one star victory over another level six tough war clan from the Philippines. Uh, pretty evenly matched here. We actually thought we were in for, you know, a, a really long war here, and uh, we're a little worried because I think they had us. Uh, uh, outmanned as far as our town halls go uh, so we thought that uh, it was going to be an uphill battle but uh, it turns out our guys are really uh, they uh, they fought through and uh, they really came through here uh, we're going to check out some attacks here uh, a couple town hall nine ones we're going to hit up first so we'll check them out it looks like for the most part we uh, took care of business from the bottom up looking at uh, all three stars all the way up through there, number nine. So we're going to go ahead and check out uh, D Nugs. We're going to show a couple different type of attacks here. First attack is going to be your uh, your air attack. Looks like it's going to possibly be a cold blooded laloon here, and uh, pulling the CC, which is kind of left out in the open here. Uh, going to corner them up. And hit them with that poison spell. And then it looks like we uh, we're gonna see a golem coming in from that uh, CC here. Wait till these uh, troops go down with this spell. Dropping that in real tight, taking the heat. Um, very smart read to see that uh, there's a hole there. So, uh, dropping some troops in there, he's going to take out that queen. He's going to shoot to get that uh, air defense, which should go down relatively quickly. Um, and then with this kind of uh, crazy design base here, he's going to start breaking in those hounds from up north there. And he's going to go with the counterclockwise deployment on these troops uh, for the most part. We're taking out that uh, air defense quickly. And then coming through on the side here with the Lava Hound. Got all the hounds going. None of them popped yet, which is not a good thing for the attack. We want those hounds to pop. But I like we got all three hounds still going. So other than that, we don't really have much defense left. Got a, a ground set expo. Really didn't have to use all the spells here, so that was a insane overkill. So you can see it's an underdeveloped Town Hall Nine, but it's within the range here, and that's what we ask for. So hey, you rush, you get crushed here. Speed this up. Very, very nicely played out, planned out hit by D Nugs here. Excellent three star attack. Let's shoot on back and we're going to check out my attack on their number 10. Uh, and this attack comes courtesy of Clash with Ash YouTube video I just saw hours before. Got four earthquake spells. Going to pop out that center compartment there. And then I got four golems coming down. We're going to hit up the Go Wee Wee. So you got your Golems, got your Wall of Wizards behind. Dropping in the Heroes, they got a clear path right for that Town Hall now. And the Wizards, the Witches coming back in. Witches far behind so they can spawn those Skeletons. And you're going to steamroll this base through. Got some Poison going down. These clan castle troops are going to walk right into that. But for the most part, this was the perfect design base for a go wee wee attack, especially with this earthquake spell. He kind of set it up where he was hoping that you wouldn't get into that center compartment and take out that town hall, but it was not the case with these earthquake spells popping that wall right open. And once your heroes get to the other side there, We'll put this base down. 
a few cleanup troops on the outside there, but for the most part, they can't really stand up with all those skellies going through. You got your witches over here, you got your witches over here, you still have that golem just popped in half. You got your max golem still taking all kinds of heat there. And for the most part, that was a uh, relatively easy three-star attack. So we're going to shoot on back now. We're going to catch Peter's attack on number 11 here. This is going to be a true hog attack here by Peter. Of course, first thing you're doing is you're pulling out that uh, clan castle there. Get them cornered up. Another one down. And down goes the poison. Poison through going to take out that queen who's sitting all the way on the rim of that base. She's gone. Next thing you know, hounds are coming in. Should have a nice little box type heel drop there. Hounds are tearing through. Doing their job. Defenses are down. Pretty much all that's left is that king up here they gotta worry about. And the hogs are gonna go take him out. He's good to go. And after that, that's all she wrote. Very nice attack by Peter here. Excellent. Last one, boom, perfect. This war was won by one star. As you can see right at the end of the, uh, the last moment, they picked up a, an extra star on number 20, their four hit number 20, but then it was down to their number one hitting our number one mag and he failed. Could have tied it up, could have taken a lead, but failed there right at the last minute. Overall, a very good war effort. 16, three stars to 13. Very good war against a tough war clan. Again, this is Clash and Duke. We'll catch you later.